Well, explosives and pyrotechnics fall under the general category of energetic materials, which is the politically correct term now for explosives. And energetic materials comprise uh, explosives, both high and low. They comprise pyrotechnics and also propellants. Um, under the category of pyrotechnics, you have the fireworks, like consumer fireworks that you can buy in the fireworks stands and shoot in your backyard. And they also uh, uh, include the display fireworks that you see at the professional displays. But a pyrotechnic is designed to produce either a heat effect, a light effect, or an audible effect. Uh, pyrotechnics can be something as common as a match, a road flare, uh, or something as sophisticated as, say, an uh, IR decoy flare used on a military aircraft. Fireworks pretty much have not changed in hundreds of years. Uh, fireworks and black powder, uh, historians don't really agree because there's not a lot of evidence, but they tend to think that uh, they were invented around 700 AD uh, in China, although that's up for debate. In the professional fireworks displays that you see around town and around the state, uh, those are comprised primarily of what are called aerial shells. And aerial shells are uh, plastic or paper containers that contain uh, a gunpowder charge and little pellets of chemicals called stars. And when this container is shot up into the air out of a mortar, it'll explode and the gunpowder that's in the center of the uh, shell will ignite the pellets known as stars and project them throughout the sky and you can produce lots of different effects. You can have color effects, uh, red, green, yellow, orange, white, blue, all the typical colors. Uh, you can also see spark effects. Uh, the sparks are typically created by burning metals or burning particles of charcoal or carbon. Uh, the colors are created with certain chemical compounds that you put into the stars and they burn to produce the color. High explosives actually are, are safer than fireworks, and the reason for that is uh, high explosives, if you generate a, a, a static spark or you light, try to light them with a match or a flame, most high explosives will typically just quietly burn. Whereas pyrotechnics or fireworks, if you ignite them with a flame or a spark, they typically burn very fast or even explode, um, although ultimately they're less powerful than high explosives, if you're standing next to it, it doesn't really matter whether it burns or detonates. Some of the things that are, are improving in the fireworks field are the, the materials that are used, uh, chemical compounds that are more environmentally friendly and, and safer to handle and work with. Uh, also a lot of use is made of uh, computer firing, where the whole show is planned, could be months in advance, and with one push of a button, the entire fireworks show is fired by a computer. Uh, using computers allows you to synchronize the fireworks to music or other events. Uh, gives you very good control over uh, when things happen. The height at which the uh, firework goes uh, depends on the size, of course. And for a three-inch shell, it can go up anywhere up to 300 feet. And for some of the larger 12-inch shells, it can be over 1,000 feet.